This week, I'm going to take a look at Happy Home Designer, the first official Animal Crossing spin-off title. This game came out in summer of 2015 for the Nintendo 3DS, and it gave us an Animal Crossing experience we've never had before. We joined the team over at Nook's Homes as their lead designer, and quickly we get into designing the spaces for the town and our little animal friends. Here's a look at 5 features from Happy Home Designer that I want to see make it into Animal Crossing Switch. Designing Town Buildings Happy Home Designer gave us a unique role in this town. We were tasked to design anything and everything. The main goal of the game was to design every building in town. We got a lot of different types of areas including a hospital, school, restaurant, shops, a music hall, a hotel, and even more. These buildings offered many unique spaces that we haven't seen in Animal Crossing before. Not only that, we were in charge of how they looked. We got so many new items to decorate and the new facilities, and it was so much fun being able to create the very town you semi-lived in. While many see this game as a very bite-sized Animal Crossing experience, I was happy to see how it grew the design gameplay when it was the main element that was focused on. The developers really gave us a design experience that will be sorely missed if not in the next game. I really hope we get some more control over the buildings in our town, and we can offer a helping hand in the decoration process. Yard slash exterior decorating. While New Leaf gave us public work projects to help us decorate the exterior to our home, Happy Home Designer removed many more limits we had on decorating. For one, this game allowed us to place any item in our inventory outside. If you want a bedroom outside, you can make one. You like a rug on your yard? Put one there. You could essentially fix your yard to look any way you wanted it to. Not only that, the game really expanded on how we could design the exteriors of homes. We got so many different styles of homes, roofs, doors, and the works. Also, it was all in an easy to scroll through catalog so we could change things quickly. I would love to see the next game give us yards that we could decorate and make unique. It would be so fun to walk by a villager's home and see them barbecuing outside. I'd love to give my home a beautiful yard with all the decorations I could possibly want. Better item placement. If you have played Animal Crossing, you know you are decorating on a grid. Happy Home Designer gave us a smaller grid that allowed us to place furniture in more exact locations. When the Welcome Amiibo update came to New Leaf, I was always disappointed that we didn't get a smaller grid for decorating. We got the touchscreen controls, but we didn't get the same type of space to work in. With Happy Home Designer, we could place objects closer together and still have space to squeeze our little butts through. I loved having more control over where I placed everything. It felt like you could make a room look more alive than ever before. It would be great if we got a smaller grid in Animal Crossing Switch, but maybe having no limitations on where you place items would be even better. Who knows what could be possible on the Switch? Ceiling items. I can't believe it took them 5 games to add this feature. For the first time ever, Happy Home Designer allowed us to place items that hang from the ceiling. The bulk of these items were different styles of overhead lighting, but some of these things were planters and birthday banners, and a lot of these things that were added were truly great to make a space unique. I felt this feature truly let us make a space feel so much nicer, the one thing I would improve on would be the amount of ceiling items we get. I felt like there weren't enough options after a while, but I understand these were just their preliminary ideas. I can't wait to see ceiling items make their way into Animal Crossing Switch. It's going to give us a whole nother layer of creativity. I just hope they make sure to go all out and give us tons and tons of things that we can use on the ceiling. Rugs. Once again, we're talking about another feature that took way too long to make it into Animal Crossing. We've always been able to change the flooring in our homes, but those floorings typically took up the entire floor. In Happy Home Designer, we finally got the ability to place rugs on the floor. These rugs could be different sizes to fit certain areas. You could place a rug on top of a floor and then place items on top of those rugs. There were completely new possibilities with what we could do with a room. I personally loved placing a rug in a living room area, but there were also so many other options. I can't see myself enjoying decorating my home without this feature in the new game, and once again, I ran out of rug options too quickly. I definitely want to see the selection grow when the next game comes along. Thank you all so much for watching, be sure to comment any features you'd love to see make it to Animal Crossing Switch from Happy Home Designer. I love reading your thoughts and all the awesome features you like in these games. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye!